A group of soldiers come under attack by an unknown entity in what many consider to be one of the most confounding and mysterious military encounters with an extraterrestrial on record. The Badajoz UFO Incident. On November 12, 1965, at the Talavera La Real Air Base, located in the province of Badajoz, Spain, two soldiers, Jose Maria Trejo and Juan Carrizosa Luan, were patrolling the fuel storage area of the base, when at about 1.45 am, they heard a noise, similar to radio interference, begin to slowly cascade through the military base. Suddenly, the noise became an acute whistle. The noise was unbearable and spooked the two guards. Jose then asked Juan to follow him on an inspection around the area, fearing sabotage. The whistle ceased around five minutes later. Soon after, they spotted an intensely bright light in the sky that seemed to be pulsating light, as if it were signaling to someone or something. The pulsating light in the sky lasted around 15 seconds, when in a blink of an eye, was gone. Soon, another guard arrived with the guard dog to help seek out the source of the insufferable whistle. Together, they moved all across the area. When they arrived at a certain point, they heard the sound of eucalyptus twigs being broken. The guard immediately released his dog and it rushed towards the point where the sound of broken twigs had come from. Soon the dog returned, but it didn't look well. It became ill and began to vomit. The soldiers were confused and worried about the dog's health, but they needed to urgently seek out the source of the noise as the base's security may have been breached. So they urged the dog to return to the point several times, each time with the same result. Eventually, the dog started to walk in circles around the three soldiers. This was a technique taught to guard dogs meant to protect their handlers. Then Trejo spotted a brilliant green light to his left. The light was human shaped. The being was very tall, about 10 feet. It seemed to be formed of small light points and the brightness was more intense along its edges. The head was small and covered by something resembling a helmet. The arms were very long and were crossed. There was no sight of either hands or feet. Trejo fell down to his knees and fainted, at which point his friends began to open fire on the creature, firing between 40 to 50 bullets. As the being was hit, its brightness became more and more intense, and when it seemed it couldn't get any brighter, it disappeared. While Trejo was being assisted, the acute whistle returned. The alert men immediately grabbed their rifles, barrels hot, and the smell of gunpowder still in the air. The whistle lasted 10 to 15 seconds and stopped. The next morning, close to 50 men searched the whole area. They discovered that there weren't any bullet casings of the shots fired by the soldiers, nor were there any holes where bullets were supposed to have struck. However, the Air Force did conclude that the machine guns were indeed fired. To this day, there is no answer as to what the soldiers had fought with, but most experts involved in the case agree that it was something of an extraterrestrial nature. Some say the whistle still rings out to those in close vicinity to the otherworldly. <laughs>